right, we are ready to get started with our weights class today. Um, we are gonna be doing a standing or seated routine depending on what you prefer. Let me grab my chair actually. And you're gonna need medium and light dumbbells for this one. So go ahead and stand hip width apart. And we're gonna start with our normal warm up, just swinging our arms side to side, loosening up. Beautiful. Two more to each side. And then bringing those arms into big circles going forward. And then going backwards. And then throwing them in and out across your chest. And right into those side bends. Beautiful. From there, coming down into your elbows, some nice big circles going in one direction. And then going the other way. And then into your wrists. And go the other way. Flick your fingers in and out, make some fists. Maybe give everything a little shake, loosen those hands up. And then we're moving down to our lower body. So seated, bopping your knees side to side, standing, nice big hip circles. Go the other way. And then moving down into your knees, seated, swinging those feet back and forth, standing, start with forward and back. And then if everything's feeling good in your knees today, add some circles in one direction. Keep those circles nice and small though. Got to take care of your knees. Beautiful, go the other way. Perfect, moving down into your ankles. Put one foot out and you're gonna point and flex. Working through your ankle a little bit. Nice, one more there. And then move into circles in one direction. If you don't like standing on one leg, just keep it down so that you're touching the floor each time and go the other way. Switch into the other side, point and flex. And then rotate. Go the other way. Beautiful. All right, set that foot down and we are ready to get started. Our first movement today is going to be a deadlift with a hammer curl, but we're going to mix it up and do a cross body hammer curl. So you're going to do your deadlift, nice flat back coming up, and then you're going to bring one side up across the front of your body. Another deadlift and go to the other side. One minute on the clock. Here we go. Beautiful, nice flat back on that deadlift. 
Nice, generous bend in your knees. Hinging back at the hips. So basically you're pushing your butt back. That's what allows you to get that nice flat back. Beautiful, halfway there already. Looking good. And time, excellent. From here, we're moving into a side lunge with an overhead press. So you're gonna take those weights, rack them up on your shoulder, step out to one side, come back, press it up. Go to the other side, press it up. One minute, here we go. How deep is that side lunge? Up to you. Feel it out, see where your knees and your hips are today, and then make your best judgment from there. If you, you do a little mini side lunge, right here, you're still engaging all of these muscles through your quads, your hamstrings, down into your calves. So you're still getting a workout, even if you are doing a fairly small lunge. So do a lunge that doesn't cause you pain. 20 seconds to go. Time, perfect, all right. Up next, we have our reverse flies but we're actually gonna do it a little different today. So we're gonna do fly it out and then we're gonna ski it up and down. So we're gonna work all of our back muscles, just like that. One minute on the clock, here we go. So fly and then forward and back. Keeping that soft bend in your elbows the whole time. Working your back muscles in multiple directions, as well as the shoulders here. Halfway done, slow and steady. This is a good one to use lightweight on because we just burned out our shoulders and it can be a little overwhelming for the shoulders to go straight in from one heavy shoulder exercise to the next. Especially the flies, because they're very, those are muscles that a lot of women don't use very often. Time, beautiful. Stand all the way up, stretch up overhead one side and then the other, stretch out those back muscles, beautiful. And then up next, we're going into a calf raise with a narrow chest press. So a narrow chest press means you're gonna hold your elbows in nice and tight and you're just pushing straight out, soft bend in the elbows. Calf raise, press it out. One minute, here we go. Beautiful, you can do this with two dumbbells as well, especially if you only have a lighter set. Just turn them up and down and hold them close together. That way you can use both and get a little more weight total. Still keeping those elbows in nice and close to your body. Beautiful. Fifteen seconds to go. You got this. Okay. 
Almost there. And time. All right. From here, we're gonna go back to a single weight. So grab the heaviest one you've got. You're gonna come into a nice squat hold. Again, whatever depth is good for you. Make it not hurt for your knees. And then we're just doing some twists, bringing it down to the hip and up and over. Here we go. Now, depending on the style of weight you have, you might wanna try different grips for this. With the weight I have, I like to hold from the sides. You can also hold from the ends or even in the middle. Finding a grip that's comfortable for you. 20 seconds to go. Hold that belly in nice and tight for this one. And time. Beautiful. Stand up, kick those legs out. And then up next, we're going to do an alternating tricep extension. So we're going to do a tricep extension, but with a weight in each hand. You can go light to start with this one and then make an adjustment if you feel like you want to go heavier. You're going to hold the weights up and just bring one down and then the other, keeping those elbows glued to your ears. Here we go. Now, all of these exercises can be done seated as well. And on the next round, I'll show you all the seated variations. Beautiful, check in with your posture here. If you find that you're letting your belly kind of stick forward and, and your back is a little swayed, tuck your tail under, suck your belly button back towards your spine. So you're not putting undue strain on your lower back. Beautiful, almost there. Still keeping those elbows in close to your head. And time, excellent. That is our first set. Go grab some water and then we'll come back for round two. All right, bring it back in. Coming into round two, we're back to that deadlift with the hammer curl cross body variation. So we've got one minute on the clock. Here we go. Seated variation, you're coming forward. And then as you come up, you have to bring the weight out a little bit more so you don't hit your knees, but you're still curling it across in front of your chest. Still focused on that nice flat back, whether seated or standing. Beautiful, you guys look amazing. You're more than halfway there. When you're doing a seated deadlift, it's important to push into your heels as you're coming up so that you can activate that back body just like you would if you were standing. So pushing down to help push yourself off the floor. Beautiful. Set those weights to the side. Coming up next, we have our side lunge with our overhead press. So rack them up on your shoulders. The seated variation, instead of the lunge, you're gonna step a leg out to the side. So stepping out, overhead press. Stepping out, beautiful.
Now, if you want to add a little extra work on this one, hold those weights up away from your shoulders, out in front a little bit. If you want to decrease the work a little bit, if you're saying, oh, I might have picked a little bit too heavy weight for this exercise, rest the weight on your shoulder between the overhead presses. Five seconds to go. You got it. And time. Excellent. From here, moving into those reverse flies with that additional skier exercise. So, light weights. Here we go. From the seated position, nice and bent over, just normal flies. And then again, going a little further away from your body to make sure that you're not whacking the chair. If you're a beginner and you feel like this is maybe a little more than you bargained for, set the weights down and do these same exercises with no weight at all. Work through the form, find what's going to work for your shoulders. And then try adding a light weight once you feel comfortable with the motions. Almost there. And time. Perfect. All right, up next. We have our squat hold and our Russian twist. So the seated variation, of course, you're not squatting because you're seated, but if you want to keep your body, your lower body activated, come up on your toes and press into those uh, balls of your feet a little bit. One minute. Here we go. Still watching your distance so you don't run into your chair. Beautiful. You got this. Halfway done. Nice and strong. 15 seconds to go. And time, beautiful. Last one, that alternating tricep extension. So bringing it up over your head, one arm and then the other, keeping the elbows in close. Squeezing the belly in tight. Trying not to let your upper body move. Only your arms doing all the work here. Beautiful. It can be a challenge, especially doing one arm at a time to keep your upper body still. That's what brings the core element into it. You gotta use your uh, abs and your back muscles so you're not weeble wobbling. Almost there. And time. Nice, that is round two done. Go grab some more water and then we're back for round three. All right, gang, bring it back in. We're going into round three, so we are back to 
that deadlift with the crossbody hammer curl. Starting now. Perfect. Head, neck, and back in a straight line. Nice, generous bend in the knees. Already halfway done. You wanna make this one a little more challenging. Push back into your heels even more. Maybe lift your toes up off the floor to help keep that weight sunk back into your back body. So you're really working the backs of your legs here. Yeah. And time, beautiful. All right, up next we have the side lunge with the overhead press or the seated version with the side step. Here we go. Perfect. Now, if you wanna add a little work here, you can go a little deeper into that lunge. You can do both hands at the same time. So you're keeping both arms continuously in motion. Or you can try holding it up overhead while you're doing the side lunge. And time, beautiful. All right. From here, going into those reverse flies, grab the weight that's right for you. I'm gonna go to my lighter ones. Here we go. 45 degree flat back, fly it up. And then like you're an alpine skier, swinging your arms forward and back. Beautiful. Halfway done. This one's tough, you got it. We can do it. Beautiful, 15 seconds to go. And time, nice, set those down, give everything a little wiggle. And then we're going into that calf raise with the narrow chest press. You know what? I skipped that one on the last round. We might have to do a little extra this time. All right, here we go. Calf raise and press it out. Beautiful, keeping those elbows in nice and tight. I like to do a nice narrow calf raise on this one as well with my feet close together, but you do the calf raise that feels right to you. A lot of people prefer them with their feet hip width apart. So find the one that fits your body best. Beautiful, sucking the belly in nice and tight. Slow and easy. Easy may be the wrong word. All right, we're gonna 
ignore that timer and keep going since we missed it on the last round. So keep pressing it out. We're just gonna do a little bit longer. Beautiful. 10 more seconds, you can do it. Almost there. And time, excellent. All right, shake those arms out and then get ready for that squat hold with the twist. One minute, here we go. Nice and steady. Letting your body do the work. Don't let gravity drop it down for you. Make it go slow enough that you're forcing your muscles into work, even on those downstrokes. Twenty seconds to go. Beautiful, almost there. And time. Whew, shake everything out, kick those legs a little. And then we're up to our alternating tricep extensions. Bring those weights up overhead. And here we go. Checking in with your posture, your low back again. The temptation holding something up over our head again is to, to let your belly kind of push forward. But that really isn't good for your low back. So let's tuck that tail under, squeeze the ribs in towards each other, and the belly button back towards the spine. Beautiful. Again, make your muscles do the work. Go at the same speed up as down. Don't let gravity do it for you. Ten more seconds. And time. Beautiful. Whew. Set all those weights down to the side. Give everything a good wiggle and go grab some more water. We'll come back for our final stretch in just a moment. All right, bring it back in. Make sure your space is clear. And then going into our final stretch. Seated or standing, take a deep breath in, bring your hands up over your head. And then fold forward. Let everything hang for just a moment. One good breath here. And then as you let it out, bend your knees and roll up nice and slow. And then squeeze your shoulders up to your ears and roll them down and back. From here, bringing your feet a little further apart, coming up and over for a nice side bend. And then swinging that arm a little over, reaching towards the wall across from you. One breath here. Rolling it back up into that side bend stretching through that opposite hip. And then coming back up and going over to the other side. So one breath here. Roll that shoulder over, reaching towards the opposite wall. And then rolling back up into your side bend.
and then back up and over. From here, bringing one arm across your body, pulling it in nice and tight. Ah, <sighs> nice deep breath, let it all relax. And then maybe look out over one side. Another nice deep breath. <sighs> and then look out over the other side. Come back to center and release, and then go to the other arm. Again, nice big breath, sigh it out. <sighs> and then look in one direction. <sighs> look in the other direction. One more big sigh. <sighs> and then come back to center. Release. Put one leg in front and again, seated or standing either way. You're gonna pull that toe up and then lean forward until you feel a good stretch through the back of your leg. Pausing here for just a moment. And then if it feels good for you, you may be fine where you are. And if so, stay right there. But if it feels good, take your opposite hand and reach to the outside of that foot to stretch a little more through that low back and hip area. Beautiful. And release, switching sides. Same thing, starting just with the lean. And then if it feels good here, take that opposite hand and reach across to the outside of that foot. Beautiful, release, come all the way up and you are all done. Thank you so much for coming out to play today.